Hello everyone and welcome to some shenanigans in Kerbal Space Program with Realism Overhaul, though in the case of this particular craft, I'm not entirely sure it matters. Uh, this is a Star Destroyer I created in honor of the anniversary of Star Wars. I decided to use it to propose a novel alternative mission plan for Demonstration Mission 2 for the Dragon 2. I think you can see where this is going, but uh, yeah. Uh, as it so happens, I had a plugin for Blender that allowed me to procedurally generate greebles. And so yeah, I decided to try it out on a Star Destroyer, uh, since it happened to be May 25th, the anniversary of the date the first Star Wars movie came out, and also Return of the Jedi, I believe. Uh, so we're getting some interesting views. I decided to launch it conventionally, sort of. The engines actually uh, run at an ISP 10 times that of Hydrolox, I just added a zero. And it's uh, they're running on straight uh, liquid hydrogen, assuming they're like fusion engines or something like that. So it's just liquid hydrogen being carried in there, and uh, they have that efficiency, so obviously SSTO is easy. Uh, no big deal. Plenty of volume in here uh, to contain the fuel, incidentally. And so here we are reaching orbit with the three engines. They're not overly powerful engines, as you can tell. They got us off the ground fairly smoothly. That was controlled by KOS. Originally, I was going to have this be just like the official Demonstration Mission 2 video, so I'd have music and I wouldn't be talking. But then something happened and led me to believe that it'd be easier for me to just do the voiceover to explain things instead of trying to have a really long description. <laughs> uh, so here we are approaching the station, and this is, of course, the joy of this particular uh, mission plan. This was why I wanted to do it. I wanted to have the Star Destroyer approaching the International Space Station. This is the one that the demonstration mission to uh, docked at in my video, and it's still there. It's still there. Uh, so it is hanging out. I might redo that for when they actually do launch. I might do it live on Twitch or something. But anyway, there's our other dragon too. Oh, this Star Destroyer is one-tenth scale. I should mention that. So one-tenth scale Star Destroyer. Uh, also civilian. You would have noted no turrets or anything like that. So a, a civilian one-tenth scale Star Destroyer. That still puts it at a length of 160 meters, by the way. Uh, so here's the problem. You can see the decoupler coming with Dragon 2, I forgot about that. So yeah, that uh, that was a bit of a mess. But I decided to keep it because I was frankly running out of time today. So I have other ideas to do tomorrow, so might as well just get it done like this and leave it be. It wasn't that serious a thing to begin with, though novel, uh, definitely take milking all these views as much as I can. I like how the Dragon 2 is sort of looks like a little projectile being shot by the Star Destroyer at the station. That's interesting. And here we go. The Star Destroyer does have a mild reaction. Well, it also has RCS thrusters. It's carrying MMH and NTO as well. <laughs> uh, one flaw though, uh, it didn't have enough electric charge. I need to fix that. Now, as it so happens, we have an engineer on the station who has a drill, a KIS drill, so we can grab that decoupler off of the dragon, and so I plan to do that. And that's what we'll conclude this video with. I won't bring it back down. I ended up reverting the mission. So, yeah, we won't be doing that just yet. But, yes, approaching very slowly. Actually, some of this video is sped up. Now, I usually approach the station very slowly. And you can see the other Dragon 2 at the nose there. And here we come in. And I do make adjustments between cuts, obviously. That's how I do this. It's not KOS docking or MechJeb docking or anything like that. It's me. I just do minor adjustments between one shot and another. Uh, though, usually I get good enough so that I can just leave it for a fairly long shot. Actually, on the Demonstration Mission 2 video, I had a really, really long shot and I only used like 15 seconds of it, so that was sad. That was sad. I did a very good job lining up on that one. Oh, uh, somebody mentioned the forward-facing thrusters. I do have forward-facing thrusters on this Dragon 2 model, but I also 
the, the original thruster configuration I had on this was wrong, and I added those four facing thrusters after somebody else told me about them. So I didn't change the original thruster configuration, so there's sort of a duplicate uh, in forward facing thrusters, which is all right. It seems to be able to do all the things just fine, so I left it be. Um, yeah. So here we go, our Kerbal Max Spur. Uh, this, in this case, I had to have the HUD up because otherwise, well, I, actually I didn't have to. Well, at one point I'd have to get the HUD up for the inventory to grab the decoupler. So here we go, we see the Star Destroyer still in the background. And grab, and there it goes. Alright, Max Spur has done her thing. And so that's it for me. Uh, at this point, uh, after Maxper gets in, I just reverted it. It was just a little bit for fun. I'll work a little bit more on the Star Destroyer. May put some BD Armory things on it. I don't know. We'll see. But there are opportunities for interesting chaos with that. And uh, add a few more details to it, hopefully. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.